Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Something is trying to kill our chickens and our cats. What kills chickens and cats? And why on earth are they doing it in February when I'd rather be taking a nap? First thing I need to do is check the chicken coop. Um, the chickens have been roosting in the barn at night and the uh, calico cat that had the injury came back with another one and so I'm really wondering if there are predators out at night. So I need to look for any signs of that and plus I have this wreath to hang on the chicken coop. Let's look for any signs of predators. I mean there are lots of footprints but I mean we have cats and chickens and all that so that's normal looking for any digging around here maybe hi might be something little trying to hop up there oh hey ducks hey ducks hi mama hi a little footprints there i mean it doesn't look like there's space big enough to be dug out but I don't know. We're gonna fill in with some rocks there. Ooh, Emmy, cool. yeah, just a little one. I wanna get some rocks, Emmy, and put them here, okay? Mm -hmm. Where those little footprints are running up to. Uh -huh. Can you help get some rocks? Uh -huh. All right, I'm trying to follow these footprints. I don't know that you can really see them because it's, you know, snowy, but, hmm. Here's some little business. I wonder if it's living in here? Maybe. I'm thinking maybe a mink. I think they'd be mean enough to attack a cat too. And they like to live down here by the water. See the creek's just right over here. Right there. And the mink like to be down here to catch all kinds of stuff. <sighs> I don't really like putting out poison but I have to see if we have a trap to use otherwise because the thing I like less than putting out poison is predators attacking my animals I could bring a bottle of wine out here and just wait and see what it is tonight sounds like fun right guys <sighs> no no it doesn't it's cold it's so cold let's check out the coop These goofballs keep laying their eggs down here oh well Oh man, I almost locked myself in here. We need to get a fresh layer of bedding in here. Over by the greenhouse is the uh, wagon. I want you to get a bale of hay and uh, meet me at the, or a bale of straw, I mean, and meet me at the chicken coop, okay? Okay. Compounding our difficulties right now is the tractor's not running and the four wheeler has a flat tire. So things are really manual right now it's just super fun with lots of snow <sighs> so if you're feeling like february is a hard month homesteading you're not alone <laughs> we're gonna make it it's gonna be okay honey rider is giving us a quart of milk every morning in addition to feeding her triplets so that my friends is a dairy goat right there all dairy all the time. Oh goodness, am I locked in? No. Okay. Phew! What a shock, guys. The coop door still isn't fixed. It's not really a dig at Kenny, just a dig at us in general. <laughs> Too much to do, not enough time. Alright, this will get packed down really quickly, but we are deep littering over the winter, and that helps to keep the chickens warm in here. The ducks, I will tell you though, do not care about the cold. They'll swim in the creek in the middle of the night. Right guys? Crazy ducks? 
All right, let's get this tied back up so it doesn't fall and go over to the barn, okay? Honey, okay. stand up. I was just holding it together. <sighs> I understand. Oh, child. Okay, rinse out that bucket. Fill it up as much as you can carry. You can take another trip with another bucket mm -hmm. if you can't get it, okay? But the ducks and the chickens need some fresh water, all right? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, pull this over inside the fence for the goats. Okay, we're gonna put it in their main stall. It's supposed to get cold again tonight, so we need I to give them the some camera. fresh bedding. I can hold the camera. You can hold the camera? Yeah. Whatever, you need to work out for track. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Isn't track like inside? Okay, whether it's inside or not doesn't negate the fact that you have to work out, and it's not. It's definitely outside. Oh, oh scare you. We got Allie cleaning out. Oh, sorry, cat. Cleaning out this stall back here. It's important that we keep the bedding dry. If it's damp and ugh, the goats can't snuggle down in it and stay warm. Let's see where we lost Robbie to out here. Oh my goodness. Is this video about you? Is this video about you, Mau Mau? She's like, yes, yes it is. Beating on the door. Oh my gosh. Pat! How did you get in there? Oh. <laughs> Mau Mau! How'd you get in there? What the heck? Is that blood? I don't know if that's blood or red paint. Where is there red paint in here? <laughs> well, I mean, there's red paint on the outside. <laughs> I guess you're right. There's not red paint in here. What is happening here? I thought maybe I solved the cat injury mystery, but I did not. That was definitely just paint. I'm going to go over here and get Tiger Lily and check her out. I need to clean out the new wounds that we found and check the old one. I'm taking her to the vet tomorrow morning to be looked at too because I just don't know what's going on. All right, Tiger Lily, open this up. Get our bandage scissors off first. Okay. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere, please. All right, there's layer one. Oh. I never knew how much I would use these bandage scissors. This is now the Barn Cat First Aid channel. I hope that's what you tuned in for. Constant first aid for the barn cats. I know Kenny's thrilled because he really wanted barn cats. He just loves how many cats we have, especially when they need medical treatment. The original wound actually looks pretty healed. I was a little bit surprised it healed without stitches, but I mean, I guess that's how animals work. They don't go, go get stitches a lot. The other ones, yeah, it's weird, I don't know. I'm still gonna take her to the vet tomorrow morning just to see if she has any idea what it is. Does she think it's a bite? Is it aggressive grooming? I don't know. I don't know a lot about cats. My cats to goat knowledge is, um, well, it's just not anywhere near the same. <laughs> hey you. How's our hay and straw supply look over there, Robbie? We still good? That over over there or over here? Over there, like at the actual supply. The stack of Pretty it. Good. Pretty good? Yeah. You think? Pretty, We're not gonna run big. out? Okay. If we run out, I'm gonna have to feed you to the goats. Oh, how about their herbivores? <laughs> <laughs> hey babies. What you doing? Hi, babies. Hey, Cher. You know your name. Do you know your name? You're so cute. But I'm gonna put bricks, and then I'm gonna go up and get some poison. Allie is gonna take the uh, bricks over to the run, and I'm gonna go find some poison that I can put inside one of the 
traps that contains it because, yeah. Ali pointed out that we did have a rat down there at one point too, which is so gross. But especially if it's a rat, I don't feel bad about poisoning it. I'm tired and out of breath from trudging around in the snow, but I feel better after getting out here. You know, it's the winter blues. You just gotta get outside and do it. You just gotta do it. Poison the rats. Feed the goats. All right, that's gonna block about the only place it looks like any predator could get in right now. And now I'm gonna get out the poison. Under here is uh, just a storage area so no animals can get to it except, you know, little tiny rodents. So, I'm gonna throw some of these in there. Don't eat this, call a doctor. I really don't think I have to open these. I think I just throw the whole pack in there. <laughs> These are like restaurant traps. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put this over here where I saw the footprints leading. I'm like a tracker now. Yeah. A rat tracker. A rat tracker. I feel a little bit bad. Did you ever see that movie, The Secret of Man? <laughs> no. I've seen Ratatouille. <laughs> well, just go watch The Secret of Nim, then you'll know why I feel bad probably poisoning super smart rats, but you know, if they were really that smart, they wouldn't be trying to eat my chickens and my cat. Right? Right. Right. The fact that nothing has attacked the ducks does make me think rat. Like if it were a raccoon or something, it would definitely attack the ducks. I would think even a mink would, because mink are mean. I will keep you guys posted and let us know what we find out. Go ahead and tell us what predator you think it is. I mean, your guess is obviously as good as mine. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But hopefully something that's going to eat this poison and be gone. We'll keep you posted.